Hi, this is Jeremy Kellett, Director of Recruiting here at Oakley Trucking. I'm your host for this podcast. This is episode 134. And on today's episode, I'm going to sit down with Mr. Adam Vasquez. Is that how you say that? Yep. Vasquez. And we're going to sit down with Derek, but he ran off and left us. <laughs> but they're with Herd Media. And they're a company that we do business with that actually – started the podcast i reached out to him and they helped us start this podcast so we're going to visit with him a little bit about actually about our relationship but also about the uh, podcast world uh the youtube world that goes on out there that a lot of you know about of course if you're watching this so it's amazing how it's taken off in the last couple of years and we'll just want to talk a little bit about that uh so we'll do that for sure but first let's give you an oakley update sponsored by arrow truck sales Let's listen to one of Oakley's owner-operator experience with Aero Truck Sales. Called Kenworth off of 440, called Peterbilt, called Freightliner. None of them wanted to work with me. So uh, Jeremy Kellett uh, got, me in, got me over to Trey, Trey Visor. Me and him had a conversation. He sent me to... Uh, Keith Wilson, and never looked back from that point. I was upside down 29,000 and change. They paid off all but $5,000 of my loan on a blown truck. That right there said a lot to me. You know, they were willing to step outside of their comfort zone to get my deal done. I never felt like a customer. It was more like a family feeling. Um, he took care of every, every aspect of the deal. He was completely transparent. There was no hidden, no hidden nothing. So if you're in the market for a used truck, you owe it to yourself to call Keith Wilson at Arrow Truck Sales in Springfield, Missouri. Tell him you heard it on the Oakley Podcast. So here, here's the... Here's the uh, Oakley update. A lot of you will be interested in is because I get asked this all the time, all the time about trailers. We got any trailers coming? When are we gonna get some new trailers? What's the plan? You know, are we selling any? Well, so we have got new trailers coming, and we've got sixty of them coming, which is great. You know, um, and they're gonna be. Here's the breakdown first, because they're gonna be coming in stages after the first of the year, uh, but we've got. 20 hopper bottoms coming. We've got, uh, which y'all know what I'm saying, hopper bottoms, grain trailers, 20 brand new of those coming, and uh, they're tempies. Then we've got uh, 20 regular, well, I call them square end dump trailers that you're pulling. We've got 20 of those coming. They're all spread axle, and they're all Mack trailers. And then we got 20 half rounds. And, you know, for y'all that don't, half round is kind of a common term we use around here but some of you may not know what i call it, what we're talking about when we say a half round trailer it's like a tub trailer you know it's not a square bottom it's a it's a a tub trailer so we got 20 of those coming and they're actually spread axles too so got some new equipment on the way and i know that's exciting for everybody because you know for years we've always tried to keep new equipment coming and get the old equipment out so and that's what we're doing here so hopefully you know first of the year i hadn't looked at the schedule real good but uh you know toby gives me this information to go off of but uh you know january february march uh is those times that'll be coming in so good news on the trailers okay let's get uh let's visit with mr adam for a little bit and talk about herd media you want to hey adam what's going on what's going on thanks for having me you know we had um so for the listeners out there, Adam and Derek came and visited us last night. <clears throat> I got here yesterday from yep. Carolina. Yep. Uh, fed us real good last night at uh, Doe's Eat Place in Little Rock, Arkansas. Famous place. So gotta pretty go. good. Got to go. Everybody got to go. We got these huge porterhouse steaks <laughs> that were fantastic. So had a good time visiting. But uh, And now I've been here you know, all morning talking, and we've been talking about the business and – and your business and, and how you help us and help has helped us a lot. I can, 
I can remember um, having the crazy idea that hey, let's let's start a podcast. And uh, what what I know you're asking the questions, but what made you think of that? You know, I don't. <laughs> I didn't even know what one was. I, I just knew I kept hearing it on the radio. I kept I kept hearing people um, advertising their podcasts, you know. Mm-hmm. So go to the podcast, go to our podcast, listen to the so and so podcast. I'm like, what the heck's podcast? What are we? What is? What is that? that yeah. Everybody's going to. So I, you know, do a little research on what it is, and I, I and I instantly think that's a great tool to communicate to truck drivers Mm. because they're driving all day and they can listen to a podcast, you know? And so I told Corey that and he's like, ah, that's, I don't know about that. (laughs) I said, I don't know how to do it. So, you know, we we start searching, trying to figure out how to do this. And, uh, luckily I came across your information, uh, of, of hard media. And I just reached out to you and, and and it was you know, we talked a little bit, and then the best part is you came over here and visited, and you helped coach us and figure out what the best way to do. Yeah, it. So, that's great. Yeah, so so what Hard does and Adam does for us is we record the podcast, and then we actually send it to them through Google Drive, and yep. then you guys edit it and make it cut out all the stuff, make it pristine for us, make it look good, intro, outro, all that. Yeah, you guys make it easy. But I have to say, thank you for having me because I've listened to probably a hundred of these, <laughs> and, uh, and it's cool to be sitting here and sitting in this new beautiful building that you guys have. Last time I visited you guys, you were over in the older, um, older spot, and uh, I'm sure most of the listeners have have seen or are familiar with the the Oakley facility here. It's unbelievable. Yeah, it's yeah, the new one. I mean, we did. I can't believe it. We started the first few podcasts. I remember out of that paneling wall dark <laughs> hole in that office <laughs> this is a loyal audience those people who have stuck yeah. around since then. <laughs> yeah of course i guess then you know we wasn't recording any so they couldn't see it oh so, right, right, right i don't know that we did any through the video uh, video or not yeah. yeah i think we did maybe i can't remember i don't remember either, I don't either but it's it, um uh, anyway it's it's just for everybody out there to know i mean herd media has been a great contribution to the podcast and getting stuff out there for us it's it's helped a lot how did you guys business get started uh so yeah. you know kind of give us a brief overview of that adam yeah well i mean it's a really cool subject especially for all the drivers listening because there's just a huge amount of opportunity for even drivers you guys have learned this leveraging people to build a brand through youtube through uh social media and there's just a million different ways you can monetize that. I think a lot of drivers would be interested to hear about that. So I'm sure we'll talk about some of those things. But the way that we got started was just I was uh, I, I came out of the ad agency industry, was working for a bunch of New York based um, advertising agencies. And my business partner, Derek, who fled before we could start recording, uh, he had started a company called Strafire and was building websites essentially for local businesses. And we got connected, met up together. I thought if we combined forces, we could help, you know, expand it from just being a a, a company that built websites to being a more robust agency. And the way that we, um, so I quit my job, you know, started, became his partner. And the way we started getting clients was we started a podcast and just started trying to reach out to people who we thought um, might need a podcast or might might be interested in uh, our other services. Mm-hmm. And uh, long story short, podcast kind of blew up a little bit. Like people know, you know, when you start creating content regularly, it gets out there, the word gets around, thankfully. And we started having people come to us and say, will you help us do that? And, uh, and thankfully we said yes. <laughs> <laughs> kind of figured it out from there. Yeah, you yeah, well, figured it out good. I mean, because now you're, you know, your business is, is seems to be booming and doing a lot better. Yeah. I mean, we've launched and or are producing over 30 shows. Uh, we do, um, a bunch of other, we have a bunch of other video and, and ad type clients now, and, um, we'll turn six in the spring. So at least you were doing, uh, are you still doing, or is that one, uh, you were doing a Philadelphia Eagle player at one point? Yeah, Tori, that's right. Actually, 
Yeah, Torrey Smith, he he played for the Eagles and for the Ravens and the 49ers. I only care about his tenure with the Eagles, but uh I'm big I'm from Philadelphia. And um I actually we sold him, if I don't know if you remember, from your old office cuz he called me. I remember him calling you while okay. you were in you were here visiting us. Yeah. You were kind of excited about I that. I was <laughs> I think I was very excited. <laughs> I felt bad even taking the call, but I was like I, I, it's a, it's Tory Smith, you know. Yeah. So um yeah, that was cool. We we launched that for him. Uh it's called Trending Thoughts with Tory Smith. Now, if for some reason Tory's listening, he knows he needs to be a little bit more consistent. He needs to take the Jeremy Kelly playbook of being consistent when it comes to I got you. creating episodes. But um that's been awesome just to be a part of that process. I bet it is. I bet yeah. it is. You know, that's I know you hadn't. Um, you had a little bit of transportation. You dove off into. You had a couple of clients that was doing somewhat supply chain. Supply chain, yeah. Stuff, but uh, I think this this was your first. I guess um, shock of you guys have baptized <laughs> of us. what yeah. trucking is. You know, to that's get right. down in the trenches with trucking, and that's what we do here at Oakley. So, well, what's your first impression of the trucking world two years ago? through these two years yeah i mean it's been it's been it's weird derek and i talk about it because trucking and and the and the types of people who are in trucking and then what we do advertising like we were just having a conversation downstairs with ken he was making fun of poor miles shoes because he doesn't wear the right cowboy boots you know <laughs> and uh i tend to be more i came up in the industry of more being with maybe what miles was used to right like not as rugged not quite as uh um outdoors all those sorts of things but for us the, the people who work in trucking are just our people we've just really connected well i mean it's like our relationship we've been able to we share a lot of the same values of family and and loyalty and and those sorts of things and so a lot of times we feel a little bit out of place in our industry just because it's a little bit different it's a lot more transactional and uh coming into working with a company like oakley and, and the way that you all and really the biggest eye opener for us was I got to go to Matt's with you this yes. year. Yes, in uh, <laughs> you in Carlton, Louisville. Yep, Carlton. And we met you guys there, and it was just so cool to see. First of all, the that's just a crazy sight. That's to see. overwhelming yeah. a little bit. <laughs> it is. Can't take it all in. No, no, it was it was wild, but. You know, the consistent feedback, and I think I told you this last night at dinner, we were, we were even trying to poke at people every once in a while and be like, so how do you really, how do you really like, like Jeremy's not here, you don't have to, you don't have yeah. to, uh, how do you really like working at Oakley? And the the consistent thing of, you know, that they they take care of us, they pay us the best, they're loyal to us, those was just over and over again. And so anyway, it's just been cool to be connected with, with a company like yours. Yeah, learning, because uh, a lot of people out there that, I mean, you think about it, don't know about the inside on trucking and what goes on with trucking. And they just know that they're in their way, That's you right. know, or they're throwing uh, rain spray on them. I can't see, <laughs> or they're taking up too much. I mean, you know, that's what the majority I think of people think when you, you talk trucking, but when you get inside of it and you get to meet the people that are involved in trucking and you even get to meet the owner operators, the truck drivers that do it every day. I mean, they're people just like us. Yeah. I mean, it's not, uh, you know, they're making a living too and, and doing a heck of a job doing it, trying to navigate out there. But it's a new world for people out there that's never, you know, never been into it. So, yeah, it was awesome to see. And it was awesome to see the commitment that those people had to their career, to their, it's a lifestyle, you know. And, uh, oh, yeah. It, it, All those guys in the Pride and Polish show. And uh, yeah, that was they awesome. Clean those trucks up. Oh, McCormick's, you saw, you met them. Yep. At the truck show and how proud they are, absolutely to be here and to be other you know other equipment and I mean there's a, there's a lot of pride that takes place in yeah. the truck driver in yeah. the trucking industry for sure and rightfully so I mean you all who are listening are the ones who are moving everything that we use and do every day us on this side of the things we're just hitting some cl some keys on a keyboard yeah. you know so it was cool to see actual real uh, uh, value being being delivered by these folks so what speaking of clicks on a keyboard I yep. mean this when we started, we were just audio with mm -hmm. you guys, and then we got it. We decided, hey, we need to be, we need to be on YouTube. Yeah. YouTube is a is a source, a great source now to get your brand out there. That's right, and get your product out there and whatever you do. It's, it's turned into a great recruiting tool. So I mean, can you simplify YouTube down uh, in the terms that we can understand and that a lot of people yeah. don't understand? Yeah, it's, it, it actually, they've done the job for us in that everybody's familiar with Google. 
Google is the biggest search engine in the world. YouTube is the second biggest search engine in the world and Google bought YouTube. So it's Google with videos, you know, anything you search, any product you want, any interest you have, instead of getting a normal Google result, when you do it, you get a video explaining the thing to you. Yeah. And obviously as just humans, we're visual people, we're, uh, we're interested in learning that way. And so that's why it's such a huge opportunity, YouTube specifically for, I think a lot of truck drivers, you know, you, the, the, the lifestyle and the, um, occupation that you all do is so unique to most people that, that you have so many adventures and different stories and crazy stuff. So it inherently is a visual job, what you're doing, um, throughout the course of taking these, taking these loads different places. And so, and I think that that helped us take that next step to reaching more people uh, for sure, uh, is going, uh, doing the YouTube yep. and doing the video part and saying, Hey, can we, how can we do this and make it better? Yeah. Uh, that, that, and, and it, it's, it's crazy, I guess, because I mean, I guess your goal when you get on YouTube, your goal is to have a lot of people watch your videos. Yeah. I mean, yeah, for sure. Ultimate goal, because I guess eventually you get enough, you can start getting paid by Google yeah. to get it. But I guess it's gotta be pretty much an elite group, but yeah. And in between those two, there's you know, literally millions of creators who are running businesses just like Oakley, where they're building, you know, good, sustainable, loyal audiences and are able to either recruit like you guys are doing or sell a product or build partnerships or whatever. And so, um, you know, you don't have to have a million subscribers for YouTube to be an effective tool. You just really have to be a consistent creator. Lease on with Oakley Trucking, America's dry bulk call. Our owner operators are the top paid in the country and we will prove it to you. We offer steady year round freight as well as a yearly annual bonus that increases each year you are leased to us. Oakley has multiple divisions, end dumps, hopper bottoms and pneumatics so we are sure to have something that works for your schedule and home time. Check us out on YouTube as well as our weekly podcast or give us a call today and see why Oakley Trucking is everything you have been looking for. Yeah, that's a good point. I didn't think about that. Uh, it's some, because, you know, you start doing it every week, something new, then people start looking forward to it. That's and, right. And it, uh, it it's taken off, I mean, with the help of you guys, it's done great for us to be able to to do stuff that we couldn't do. We had the idea. Yep. But, you know, we're, we're not able to do what you do. And, yeah. And editing and putting it out on, the, on all these other platforms to. Yeah, and it's like, it. who are we just looking at the YouTuber that was in here? In the military? Jimmy Evans? Oh, no. Yeah, Jim, Jimmy's Road Life. Jimmy. Jimmy's Road I mean, Life. Incredible story right yeah, there. Yeah. Just started it not too long ago. Already has 600, 700 followers, something like that. Yeah. Getting, you know, a lot of people. Think about it. The thing I always say is when you're thinking about it, if you had to go stand up in front of a room of 700 people, that's a that's an intimidating really? crowd, you know. That's a good size and if you you would have been to make sure you have something important to say, you know. He's getting 700 people watching his videos every time. And it's just you don't think of it that way when you're making it or anything like that. You think, "Ah, it's only 600 or 200 or whatever." But even 100, that's a movie theater that you filled with people yeah. to listen to what you have to say. So, it's a pretty it's a pretty powerful tool. It is. Yeah, I didn't think about it like that. I guess that's uh, it is. It's standing up in front of that many people, and you, you wouldn't love put, that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that wouldn't be as easy as yeah. this. Right? I'm just standing in front of you having a conversation. That's right about uh, podcasting and YouTube and all that. I mean, it's pretty a whole lot easier. Yeah, yeah. So it's it's powerful. We've got some. Uh, you know, we've we started a little bit with Jimmy Jimmy's Road Life. We encouraged him to start a YouTube video, which he wanted to also and that's turned into a great thing of having some influencers mm. to help your your brand and your company which you know i we've got him and we've got tanner sides rob holly and now we just acquired uh, another guy that leased on with us that had a already had a huge following uh paperboy mm -hmm. trucker mm -hmm. i mean that that right there is gonna that helps get the word out about, you know, Oakley to everybody. Because That's right. I guess some, our listeners may be thinking, well, why, you, why do you want to do all this? Well, because, as I tell you, there's three and a half million truck drivers <laughs> out here, and I want them all to be listening to this podcast That's every right. week. Because when you've got something that's as good as this place is, you want to 
you want to offer it to everybody. Mm -hmm. And this is a great platform, YouTube, to be able to do that because everybody can go to YouTube. You know, almost everybody, <laughs> <laughs> if they know it, you know, they have that option of going. So yeah. you want to be out there on that platform and getting recognized because we talk to so many people every day who's never heard of Oakley Trucking, mm -hmm. never heard of Bruce Oakley. They don't know what it is. And, and, you know, we don't think like it in here and here. We think everybody knows us. Right. But they don't. I mean, it's it's a uh, it's something that you continually want to push to get out there mm -hmm. and the YouTube channel has been and this podcast has been great to be able to do that yeah and it's the same with uh with uh, for the purposes of the drivers who are listening like those you mentioned those four or five people who are who are investing in their own brand and building that out and talking about Oakley along the way but they are for however long they decide to have that they are going to have an kind of invaluable asset of an audience of people who, who are building a relationship with them and who are listening to them and that's valuable for tons of different things for finding new work for selling products for having sponsors like you like it's its own business you know and uh mm. meanwhile they're just showing how they're going about their day so it's pretty cool what's the next 10 years going to bring i mean if i knew i'd probably be a little <laughs> bigger uh <laughs> i i think though you know you're consent you're continuing to see the uh content condense now you're seeing people spend endless hours on tiktok you're seeing youtube emphasize shorts we were talking about that earlier i um, mean if you haven't checked out oakley's uh shorts when you go to their youtube there's a little tab at the top those videos are 60 seconds or less and people are getting so good at putting a incredible an hour's worth of value into 60 seconds right mm -hmm. because our our attention span is getting worse and worse unfortunately and the technology is getting better and better and so I think there's going to be, you know, all of those platforms are really, really pushing those quick, short hits. Um, I think that's going to continue for a while. But I think alongside of that, there's going to be a lot of desire for people who do really good, really long form uh, content because there's a desire for something real, not just, uh, you know, like the way we talk about it is those little TikToks and YouTube shorts and everything. You have to do them because the platforms are pushing them so hard but they're kind of like candy they just give you a quick hit mm -hmm. of something people still want meat people still want something that they can really think about and is, is helping them progress as a human you know in their life and so that's why you see joe rogan doing three hour podcasts or uh other people doing really really long form because that i think that trend will come back where people want that longer or meteor relationship as well yeah yeah i think you're right there how can um you know, we talked about this earlier about getting reviews yeah. or making making ours take off a little bit better. And we, you were talking about getting reviews really helps for whatever reason. I guess that's the algorithm yeah. with YouTube. But getting comments and getting likes and doing reviews. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's something that sounds, I guess, important, but really don't know. A lot of people don't know how to do it. Yeah. Well, listen, if you're listening to this, you like Jeremy, you like listening to him every week, you got to you got to leave a review. It's yeah, the right. least you can do. You got to give a little like and a review. But what what everything has turned into on the internet is everything now is a social media platform essentially, right? There used to be that like you had social media and then over here you had the news and over here everything is social media now. And what that means is the way that it were, you know, the way that all of these platforms signal whether they should show more people content or not is based on the engagement that that content gets. So if you have people coming in and if you're listening to this right now and you know you like the Oakley podcast and you are like, ah, I don't want to give it a review even though it only takes three seconds, you're limiting how many people can hear the Oakley podcast in, in, a, in a long tail sense because the internet takes that as a signal as, oh, you know, 100 people liked this, we should show it to another 100 people. Where if you just listen and you think of it for your own, you know, you enjoy it, but you just kind of keep to yourself, um, unfortunately that actually does kind of limit the, the amount of people that can ultimately see it. So yeah, engagement is huge, especially on, on all of these new media sites. Yeah. So, and I mean, it's simple. You, you click on comment, right? Yeah, that's right. Comments. Or if you're listening on Apple podcasts or Spotify or Google play, whatever, just pull it up and there's five stars right there. Always hit five stars. Yeah. Don't even mess around. But yeah, that's a, <laughs> right. that's a simple some thing. Some reviews. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, it's, it's, uh, you know, th this is more, a little better breakdown. Uh, I think explaining it to our listeners of, 
of what's going on in the world of technology with YouTube, social media. I mean, it is it is it just continually takes off in different directions, and I don't know what ten years you know, from now is going to bring. I don't know if yeah. we're going to still be doing a podcast, if they'll even be putting out podcasts <laughs> in 10 years. I don't know. I don't know. But you never know. But I appreciate you keeping us on the cutting edge of yeah. what's next. Because Well, that's not we really do. up to us. That's, that's you know, we t- I tell you this all the time, and I'm not blowing smoke. It, it It's rare to have someone who is as engaged and as committed as you all are to providing this type of content for your drivers. And it shows the commitment you have to them because so many people won't want to do it or, or start to do it, but it's over 70% of podcasts don't make it through episode five. They just give up. What, what episode are you guys at? 134. Yeah. So, I mean, that is a commitment to your drivers to, to be in there and showing up for them each week and providing that value for them. So, and I didn't realize, you know, until I got into this, that there, some people have seasons. That's right. So I guess you, you do a season one and you have so many podcasts, and then I guess that's so they can stop and take a break. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's that's typically that's more for, like, uh, scripted things or um, okay. or things that have, like, a, a definite, sto- finite storyline to it. So it starts here and it ends here, and then we research or write more and then do another season. Gotcha. But. Yeah, seasons is a great way to bake in some rest, but um, we just keep pumping it out. You can't hit three and a half million drivers if you're resting. That's all right, the time. and that's our goal. <laughs> that's right. We got to get it out there and uh, get it to everybody that's driving a truck. They should want to listen to the Oakley podcast. I mean, what else are you going to do? You're driving. You, know, you got got great content. That's right. Man, good stuff, Adam. Uh, I appreciate you guys coming and visiting, coming all the way from yeah, Greenville, South Carolina, us. and and staying, spending the day here with us, and getting to know us. That means a whole lot for us doing business together, mm-hmm. and to be able to continue to do that and keep us informed on you know what's going on in that uh, Google, YouTube, podcast world that you do, and and helping us and helping Miles with some stuff, and mm-hmm. it's going to just all get better and keep going from here. Love it. Thanks yeah. for doing it with us, and everybody better like and subscribe. To like, us. subscribe, and comment. That's right. If you do not know how to do that, you've got to figure it out. <laughs> if you don't, if you don't have something to comment on, this is a little nugget for you. Miles has never seen uh, Smokey and the Bandit, right? That's right. So maybe that's right. Or this is one to really get you. I think we we might have already said this. He's never seen Christmas Vacation. <laughs> I mean, how how do you not? I don't know. Know who the Griswolds are? I don't know. Somebody get in there in comments and encourage him to Got watch that to right comment now. on that. And we're gonna have to. Poor Miles. I'm gonna make him watch it in, <laughs> at the office, so I know it's it's been. Watched. It's a worthwhile use of time. <laughs> so Miles, don't be trying to cut this out either. <laughs> Good stuff, Adam. I appreciate it. Uh, Derek too. Derek, uh, if you listen to this episode, I appreciate you coming over. It's really good to meet you too, and uh, enjoy what you guys do for us and. Enjoy getting on you. Thanks, Jeremy. All right, man. Thanks for listening to the Oakley Podcast. I appreciate you guys every week and what you do to help make this podcast get out there to our listeners. And and I hope it helps you. Um, You know, if you're just driving down the road during the week and listening to it, I hope it gives you some reassurance of, hey, we're we're here for you. Uh, It's a good communication tool that we use to get to our to our owner operators and their families. Uh, I know a lot of you told me that you watch it when you get home. Some of you just listen to the audio going down the road and and that feedback helps us a lot. Uh, it sure does and I just, you know, you're the reason why we do this thing. So keep up your good work. We appreciate you listening. We'll talk to you next week.